G'day. Check this Norco out. It's been a very long time since it's seen a big change from that core Canadian mountain bike brand Norco. This Norco site is a vast advancement from what we've gotten used to from Norco. We love it. Check it out. With 140 mils of travel front and back, the Norco site is a long travel trail bike. Not so much an all mountain bike or a cross country bike, it sort of sits in the middle. The swoopy lines on the Norco site look fantastic. The drop top tube, kinked seat tube and nice curvy back end look awesome. Really are a sight to behold. <laughs> Not only does the Norco look great, the frame construction features are all up to date. Starting from the front, you have quite a nicely sculpted tapered head tube and moving down the seat tube is kinked to let the rear wheel tuck in underneath the frame nicely but the dropouts is something that really is quite unique. It uses a Sintase 142 by 12 solid axle. In case of an accident the aluminium bolt holding the rear derailleur hanger onto the frame is designed to snap but Norco actually include a spare threaded into the main frame of the front end. Pretty cool. Taking a look at the Norco site it's the geometry that makes this bike quite unique. It's not super long, it's not super slack, it's quite tight, upright and agile in its numbers. To describe the Norco site's handling in a nutshell, we would say it's like a 120mm travel bike in terms of geometry, but just with that little bit more forgiveness. A 68 degree head angle is actually quite sharp for a bike of this travel amount, and the seat angle also giving you quite an upright seating position on the bike. Those numbers combined give the Norco a very good balanced neutral position for a lot of those climbing and tight single track moments. The Norco really encourages you to play with the trail and just have a lot of fun with it. It was hard to keep the wheels on the ground with this thing. Adding to this feel is the lowly slung top tube. The standover height enables you to really throw this bike around underneath you. Norco also follows that trend of a big wide handlebar, short stem and a nice roomy top tube so you can really muscle the bike through the single track. And how does it pedal? The Norco is very efficient indeed. The rear shock, the Fox RP2 has a lever that we rarely touched at all. With the rear shock from Fox, the fork is from RockShox, the revelation. It's a slick little number with two travel settings and lockout. We rarely felt it bottom out at all. In fact, we had to double check the suspension sag a few times to make sure we had the right pressure inside. The sharp head angle caught us off guard a few times in those fast high speed turns. Norco have specced the Site 2 really, really well. They have gone for a full Shimano XT component group, front to back, brakes, hubs, drivetrain, everything. The brakes in particular are a highlight. Although the rotors are cheapies, we would recommend you swap them out for the Ice Tech versions. The Crank Brothers adjustable seat post does not come with this bike, but we would highly recommend you fitting an adjustable seat post. We do like the Kenda Slant 6 tyres, they're very fast, but if you wanted some more meaty rubber to unlock the potential of this bike, you can. There is a lot of tyre clearance available. Some riders won't like the particularly wide handlebar, but Norco do supply a narrow one, if that's your preference. We had a couple of teething issues. Some of the rear suspension pivot bolts came loose and the rear derailleur cable migrated forward a couple times. Just make sure you lock tight those pivot bolts and secure the rear derailleur cable housing tightly with zip ties. So what is the site and who does it suit? It's not a cross country bike or a big hit or mountain bike. This guy is perfect for the type of rider who wants to ride technical trails all day long and just have a lot of fun doing it. 